Thanks for coming out, you fucking goofs. This camping trip's been a lot of fucking fun. Fucking doing nature shit, hanging out by the fire. This is really great shit. I don't. Why the fuck am I here? Because you're popular. You guys want to hear about some fucked up shit that happened to me one time? That depends. Is story number one bullshit? No, this story's 100% true. This is the truest story of all time. It's so true, I'm going to tell you it's not true so that you know it's true. Because if I say it's not, it is. I am listen. All right, so this all went down back in 2007 when I went to Japan with Lorenzo. We just bought Pride, and we had to do a press conference in front of the Japanese media. All right, sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up, you goofs. I just want to let you know that us buying Pride, this is not the end of Pride. We're going to have UFC events and Pride events, and the fighters are going to be able to fight in both organizations. Pride will never die. I can't wait for the next Pride event. Thank you all for coming out. Is the microphone off? Lorenzo, shut this shit down. Pride's fucking done. Grab Vanderlei and Rampage. We're getting the fuck out of here in the morning and we're never coming back. Fuck Fedor. It was a good fucking speech. But something strange started to happen right after. I was inside Tama Super Arena on my way out and I stopped to take a piss. All right, that's one down. Now I just gotta get rid of that fucking Elite XC. We've got no more competition. I bet they're doing something that's fucking illegal. Yeah. Taking a piss, pal. Clown shoes, can't you hear me taking a piss? Hey, fuck you, man. I'm gonna kick the fucking shit out of you once I get done pissing. I have a lot of fucking piss, okay? I'm a powerful guy. Fuck it, really, asshole? Now you made me stop pissing midstream. You know how much that hurts? Yeah, fucking right you turned it back on. I'd have beat your ass. I was gonna fight Tito, but he backed the fuck out. I don't speak Japanese, dickbag. It didn't end there, though. A half hour later when I got done taking a piss, something weird happened in the limo on the way to the hotel. This fucking city, man. Crazy, all these lights and shit. Technology. There's probably lots of internet here. I'm hoping one day there's some kind of website where I can call stupid fucking fans who talk shit goofs. I'm never gonna be afraid of the internet. Hey, driver, this is it, pal. Hotel's right here. What do I owe you? I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna leave what I think this costs. You have a good one, all right? Where the fuck is the light switch? There it is. Well, this is pretty fucking basic. I wonder what Japanese TV's like. <laughs> fucking weird show, man. I guess I better take a shower so I don't have to in the morning. Man, I cannot believe we've been able to run six seasons of The Ultimate Fighter. Spike has been great. It's gonna have to end at some point, though. Diminishing returns? It's not like it's gonna go 28 seasons plus multiple spin-offs in other countries, including China. What are we, the fucking Simpsons? What the fuck is that? Must have had too much fucking sake earlier. I should just get some fucking sleep. That's not real. That wasn't real. Sakuraba's not on the ceiling of my hotel room in a gi. That's a, that wasn't a real thing. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm leaving right now. Dana, what happened, man? I went to your hotel room this morning and you weren't there. Where are you? I took an early flight back, man. I wasn't really feeling good. So listen to this shit. I got a call from Vince McMahon last night. He says Brock Lesnar is training to fight and that he wants to be in the UFC. That's fucking funny, man. Kai's never had a pro fight. He thinks he's just gonna waltz right into the heavyweight division and win against the top fighters in the world. Imagine him fighting Randy Couture for the belt. I know, man. It's crazy. He's gonna need to win at least one fight outside the UFC first. Then we'll just throw him to fucking Frank Mir. We're not gonna start letting people from the WWE in into the UFC. Yeah, Amir will fuck him up. What's that noise I keep hearing? You getting a call? I don't know, it's not no number. I'm gonna let it go to voicemail. So listen, man, I was thinking. I know who can make sense of all this. Hey man, you listen to that voicemail I got? What'd you think? I know you're into thinking about shit. That voicemail was crazy. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that was. You know what I might do? I think I'm gonna start a podcast. 
What the fuck is a podcast? It's like a radio show on the internet. I don't know, man. Who the fuck wants to listen to radio shows anymore? I know, but I don't know, man. I think I want to talk about everything ever for three hours every day. Anyway, I listened to your voicemail, man, and that was some seriously fucked up shit. I don't think it's in Japanese, though. I actually think it's just the audio's in reverse. Jamie, play back that audio from Dana's phone, but reverse it. Okay, Dana White. That shit's too spooky for me, man. So what happened? Did the ghost leave you alone after that? No, I see him every single day. I just don't give a fuck. I shall go next with big time story of scare. 